you want to gain a virtually permanent 3% bonus to experience gained in Season of Discovery? Well, I have great news because the cozy sleeping bag has just been discovered and I'm going to walk you through how to get it. This is quite the journey, so I would highly suggest having a boon of Black Fathom if possible for the run speed. To start off, you'll head to Waypoint 3750 in Westfall and pick up a note from the burning remains of the building. You'll then head to the Barrens at Waypoint 4674 and pick up the twin note there. If you're a Horde character, you'll do these two steps in the reverse order. Next, you'll journey over to the Stone Talon Mountains, just northeast of the Sunrock Retreat. There's a path around Waypoint 5050 that will lead you up the mountain where you'll come across an abandoned camp, where you can interact with some supplies and complete the next part of the quest. Next, you'll head north of the camp and jump down onto a ledge, where you'll interact with the Mound of Dirt and complete that quest. Now, because this discovery is so new, I'm not sure if it's the same for the Horde and Alliance from here, because the next part of the quest delivers you to the Dam in Dunmoreau. You'll jump over the ledge here and interact with the figurine to complete this step. Next, you'll travel to the Hillsbrad foothills to waypoint 8749, where you'll find a cart leaned along the wall. This is the coolest part of the journey because it's sort of a jump puzzle that you have to master to get up to the top of the wall. At the end of the tunnel, you'll interact with a bag on the wall and complete the quest, then pick up the cozy sleeping bag from the floor. When used, it places a sleeping bag on the floor that you can walk into to use. Sleeping in the sleeping bag for a minute will grant you a 1% experience buff and will stack up to three times if you sleep for three minutes. Not only that, but along the journey you'll pick up eight student fodder which can be eaten on a 30 minute cooldown to provide you with around four bars of rested experience. Some people may not find this adventure to be worth it, but I enjoyed it just for the journey. It's cool to have everyone back on the servers again and seeing all the people working towards this along the way, not to mention the awesome end reward.